Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello civil engineers and welcome to civil 53. In this lecture, we are going to set up units in which we are going to create our plans as well as we will save this software setting into templates so that we don't have to set it up again and again every time. So let's get started. Before you start drawing, it's really important to choose the right units to work in. Because if you choose a unit that a labor or a site engineer is not used to, then it will create a headache for you later on. As we are doing a practical AutoCAD course, we will not do this mistake. Let's have a look at the unit system that is mostly used in India. Almost every residential house and small private commercial buildings, construction work follows pit unit system. As you can see, in this measurement tape, a 1 feet consists of 12 inches, and further each inch is divided into 8 equal parts, and in local labor language, each of these 8 equal parts are called as a suit, that is, 1 by 8 of an inch equal to 1 suit. So, smallest units we are going to deal with on such kind of sites is going to be 1 suit. I will recommend you to buy one of this tape, try to measure general day-to-day -day object of your interest. On the other side, majority of government and high-rise building works nowadays are done in mm scale. The conversion factor of 1 mm to 1 suit is like this, 1 suit equal to 3.175 mm. Enough talking and let's see how can we set up this split scale in AutoCAD. Click on start drawing. Go to application menu, left click, and then drawing utilities, select units, left click. So we got our drawing units window. For now we will close it. The shortcut for the drawing units window is UN, type UN, enter or space. So this is our drawing units window. Here we can see for length unit. There are several units to choose from, architecture, decimal, engineers and so on. For high-rise multi-story building, we will use decimal. The architectural unit system is based on feet scale, so we will use architectural units for our residential plan. So select architecture. As we discussed before, the smallest, the smallest unit that we can measure is 1 by 8 of an inch. So select precision, 1 by 8 of an inch, left click. And the same thing for angel, we have decimal degrees, grades, radians, and so on. For now, we will select decimal degrees and we will make precisions up to a, up to a single decimal. Left click. Leave the rest of the values as it is. Click on OK. Looking inside drawing space, we can see user coordinate system showing X and Y axis. The red line represent the X axis, the green line represent Y axis. As we can see, the entire space filled with grid lines. We can switch these grid lines on and off by grid button present on statue bar. So go to statue bar and this is our grid button. If we do left click, then we turn off the grid lines. Again, left click, then we turn on the grid lines. We can also change the distance between the grid lines. So right click, select grid setting. Drafting setting window will appear from snap and grid tab. Go to grid spacing. Let's make grid spacing in x axis to be 1 inches. So, in order to enter 1 inch value, type 1 and then press shift plus double quotation. So, we got 1 inch. The same thing for grid y spacing, it's going to be 1 inches and measure line every 12 boxes. Type 12. Click OK. Usually we do not take the help of these grid lines to make plans or drawings. We take the help of these smart tools to perform our task quickly and with 100% precision. Now if we don't want to set up units every time when we start a new project, we can save this setting into a template. A template is a file that stores the user defined units, layouts, sheet layouts, and many more settings in it. So we don't have to set it up again and again every time when we start a new project. As if now we are only going to save units and grid setting into this template file. As we progress along the course, we will keep on adding more settings to this template in order to save it as a template. Go to application menu, left click, 
hover towards Sevas and then select drawing template. So give it a name. Let's name it My Architectural Unit System Fit. Then click on Save. Click OK. Now to see if this template saved our setting or not, click on Start tab. On Start Drawing, click on this small arrow and let's select our templates. So this is our template, my architectural templates fit system. To select, left click. Type you in. Enter our space. Yes, it has saved all values correctly. Architectural, 1 by 8 of an inch, up to a single decimal. Close it. This all about units and templates. We will be adding more settings to this template file as we progress along the course. So, let's move on to the next lecture to see how we can create layers. See you next lecture, inshallah. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. So, if you did enjoy it, please like the video or leave a comment below.